I obviously can tell why this is called the zipper. There's a zipper down the middle. My question is, what are all that other stuff? Like, this this sort of thing across, this curvy line across it? I have no idea. Is that supposed to be the thing you pull? What are those little nubs or lumps or pyramids? I, I don't know. If I look at a real zipper on my clothing, um, I don't see anything I recognize in this formation. Anyway, cat first. Priorities. I'm running low on lives. I guess it doesn't matter, but hey, I can pretend it matters. Trying to um, collect the um, keys on the zipper sort of straight up is um, pretty uh, stressful. So I much prefer to just jump along the edge. Also, the edge doesn't have those uh, drooping squares that drop you off it for no reason. Well, I don't know. No reason may not be the right term, but... With no warning, perhaps. That was total kind of abuse of the start. I was like, oh, they're going to get me. Press A. I don't know. Abuse? Whatever. It's part of the game. What am I supposed to do? It feels like a design oversight. This level, it should be fairly clear there's something strange going on. You can see, well, first of all, you saw Dryan. I like that feature. It draws the map as you're, as it's, you know, builds the level as you're, I don't know, as it's loading. It's not actually as it's loading, but whatever. The whole build the level animation. So those squares, they all look adjacent, but they've got black lines between them. So something's going on. Uh, and... It turns out you can walk between them. Not most of them, because there's this water in the way. But you can walk between the rear row. And there's mushrooms back there. So... Okay. What can you do with that? Well, you can... Mushrooms are for jumping. So let's try jumping. And it turns out... You can jump from square to square. But it puts this knight's nice move on your movement. Which is so unexpected for me. I, I just find that so kind of like, wait, what? I'm, I'm moving diagonally to what is happening? Of course you're going up and they made them up so they looked adjacent. But it's, it's just, I can't really wrap my head around it. Uh, of course, you don't really have to. Um... Oh, and that's another thing, is they made it so when your mushroom runs out, you pretty much always land in the water, which is pretty nice. Oh, I, people would, I would die so many times if they did not do that. Anyway, so, um, even easier than thinking about your movement as knight's moves, um, you can know that you go, uh, if you go left and then, like, down right and then down left, you've moved vertically exactly one square so you can just get these columns of keys knocked out I think I missed the one key that I could get. I think I just jumped away from it. At this point, I start to actually kind of be a little bit intentional about which ones I'm clearing.
That leaves only this one last key. And based on the movement rules, if we were on that key and we jumped to the upper left or the upper right, we would not land on any square. So how do you get it? Uh, well, of course, it's just the one exception to the entire way that this level works. Oh my goodness, this elevator is not cooperating or I am just not clever enough. So this one you can just reach by simply jumping over there. I, I don't know why I love that. I love that because there's just this complex, confusing thing. How does it work? What do you do? And then it's just this one sitting there looking like, haha, you can't get me. And it's the most simple part of the level. Danger Falls. Um, this is where you would lose all your lives uh, if you did not heavily abuse pressing A, or heavily use pressing A. Um, one of the tricks is you kind of always want to have the mushroom. That was an error. Oh, no, that was, I guess, I guess that was not an error. There's ways to get back to the mushroom, and if you can get back to the mushroom, you're pretty set. If you can get back to this early part of the level. If you cannot get back to this early part of the level, like I just... I just made a mistake. The water is arranged so that you, if you are over in that area, you will go over the edge. You will fall to the bottom, and you can't see it because it's off the bottom, but it's land down there. So basically, once you're in any of those positions in the water, you will die unless you press A. I'm waiting for the, uh, yeah. It's a two jump, I couldn't make it while I had the mushroom. Now it's time to try to get the stuff over the far left. I'm not really sure to get the one on the top, so I think I go for the one, the one on the bottom and I get that, and then I have no idea how to get out again. <laughs> I think the right thing to do would be to jump upper right and then get pushed onto the low island. I think I could have made it out. Yeah, so I need to get there with the mushroom. This is what I was sort of working out. And I just loved my jump. But there's uh, no way to get there with a the mushroom by jumping. So one, I'm, you must, you must get there with the mushroom by not jumping. I, in other words, going through the river. And I went around the wrong side of the island. Now it's on the right side of the island. Do I work out how to get back? Yes. So now that we've gotten all the keys, it's time to go down the one part of the fall that doesn't kill you. And finish this level. Here we're back to a more figure out a bunch of stuff level. The first thing to figure out is the cat is in a dead end, so done. Uh, you need those mushrooms to get over this water because it's too wide. Um, there's a stairway down there that lets us get that one key, but that's about it. The thing I do not like about this level is if you let go of the joystick, you will never exit the river. It will just, the wa that water will just push you around the loop one way and then back the other way over and over. I suppose it doesn't matter once you figure out how to get out. 
But it also takes kind of too much time, I think. There's the other stairway. Let's just get the key on the left. But no more than that. And I skillfully ignore the key on the pillar right next to where I am. Move on to some other easy bait. That part's pretty, pretty straightforward, and you can pretty much see the the folded stairway. At this point, I remember, oh, that pillar that I skipped. Let's go get that. Oh, no, I lied. I just put it off. Uh, that's not... I don't know if that's tricky. It's kind of fun. I mean, there's this... Step down, jump over, working out that it's safe, I suppose. One side of the water goes in, one side goes out. It's too high to jump back, but it's just fine because we kind of wanted to go down here. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was going to happen. This one's reachable with no mushroom or any special tricks. The lower ones here are not, it's not immediately obvious how to get to them. I come up with a plan of jumping a long way with a mushroom uh, to, from the, well, whatever. It doesn't work. And I accidentally jump this way and realize, oh, I guess I'm there. <laughs> Basically, it's a three drop. Uh, and with the mushroom, the three drop is safe. I was planning, I was trying to try something much more complicated, which I don't think is possible to try. It would have worked, but I can't get to where I needed to get, and so never mind. That leaves us with a few easy to get ones on the upper portion, and some tricky ones to get those two down below. The space between these two locations is far too deep to jump down. It's like a six drop or something, or an eight drop. Uh, so the outside the box solution is to go to the bottom of this pit and jump across the water. Which is kind of bizarre that you can kind of jump through water suspended way above you, but hey, the goal of this game is not realism. It is internal consistency and that it has it. This is just a uh, dodge the guards level with a um, an interesting theme. Uh, I actually learned uh, about Mobius strips because of this computer game level. I played it and was like, "What is this name?" And when I looked it up, um, 
I don't do a very good job of dodging the guards here. There's some... So, I guess the main trick being employed here is... Paths that cross where you cannot turn. Um, and so far, we've, this game has mainly done that with pits. Which, uh, you can see them doing that here. Um... But it also does it with like clever, slightly the wrong height that you have to jump over and stuff. Although, if you can jump over it, you can of course turn off of it and you can see the guards doing that there. I think they go both the up and down way on that, which is sort of cheating. Uh, I think I'd panic here. Yep. Many lives were lost. Um, it says timing's critical, and I guess mostly it means you have to do things within the length of a mushroom. Although there's a uh, sting in the tail of that term. I spent a while trying to figure out how to get this cat. I don't, I don't know how to get that cat. I don't know if you can get that cat. The fact that there's a cat there means that there's an exit square there, and the exit square on the right, you can see that that cascade, I think, is the intended um, final puzzle of this, or challenge of this level. So, I, 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 putting the cat there, just, I don't know. I think that's just a jerk move. Okay, so now we have a mushroom. If we jump from the correct height, we can land on those pillars. And from the corners, we can jump to those pillars, but um, from the corners of the tall tower, we can jump to the mid pillar of the front group. But from there, the jumps are two jump, two long jumps, not three long jumps. So the next thing you have to do is just wait till the mushroom falls off. Maybe that's what it's meant by timing is critical, but I kind of wish there was a button that you could press to just drop your mushroom. Maybe if Atari joysticks had more than one button, that would have happened. There I put the emulator into warp mode, just wait faster, and then I immediately walk off the pillar. You know, I press sideways just Slightly before pressing the jump button. Warp mode again. But if you hold jump button, then you always jump. Uh, and now it's time to solve the puzzle, the lower puzzles down here which actually require a mushroom, so I don't know why I came down to look at them and be always talking about them. Um, in order to make the jump uh, from those little nubs onto 
the platform, you need a mushroom. That was the uh, mushroom I was looking for earlier. Uh, not because you need it to get the keys, but you need it to get off. This area. And now we can finally proceed <laughs> towards the lower right area of the level. That jump to the middle of that uh, water area is probably the trickiest bit, or I don't know, the least obvious bit. One of the ones that I did not find obvious. And now there's this final challenge. Uh, this this water this water up takes us there, and then we have a whole series of drooping spots. And it's necessary to toggle between down left and down right very quickly and at the right times. And there it is. Cell block three is um, sort of another maze. It's another thing where we have one directional aspects. Um, between some of the cells, there are notches, and between some of the cells, there are not notches. If there's no notch, it's definitely too high to jump. Even when there is a notch, it's still too high to jump unless there's a little ledge uh, inside the cell adjacent to it. So effectively, there's some way. <laughs> effectively, there are some ways you can go, and some ways you cannot go. Uh, It's a little less limited than this, um, and I forgot this when I was playing through it this time, because you can travel on the upper portion of the level. You can travel on the walls. Uh, the way to get onto the walls is in the far upper left-hand corner of the screen, because there's um, a, a too long... You know, if you jump to the very far north upper left corner, there's a too long landing spot. So from there, you can walk around on the walls and climb down onto any location where there's uh, a notch. So uh, if you're having trouble getting to some area, you can oftentimes skip ahead that way and shortcut some of the maze solving. But I didn't remember that when I was doing this level playthrough, so I didn't do any of that shortcutting.
in a way, the keys become your guide because, I mean, like, well, f to an extent, the keys kind of help you learn how things are connected. You've, you were able to do some things you were not able to do something. So the tree keys become a breadcrumb system where you have a decent idea how things link up. Of course, the breadcrumb system, as you succeed, goes away again. Like initially they're everywhere, so you don't know anything. And then later there are some places, so you have some idea of uh, what strings exist of connectedness or non-connectedness. And then later you clear more of them and the information goes away again. I was sure that you could get into this lower group of keys from the left, which is why I went over there, but I was wrong. Oh, well, you can just a little lower on the left. The cat can very effortlessly go from the lower area to the upper area in this level, which makes catching him or her super difficult. I don't think I'd bother to try. Aggravation. There are a number of cells that um, all work in a row. That's a minor, like, but there's a, there's a number of corridors where things just kind of flow and I do remember being at the point in this game once where navigating this maze did not take time or did not take any extra bumbling around time. I'm certainly not there anymore. And here we are on the upper level. Brief thought about the cat and screw it. 